Welcome to today's quick read. I am Psy Divine. I want you to select two numbers that catch your attention the most. And if those numbers appear in the cards, there's a message here for you. Ready? So let's see what's going on here with those of you who are having trouble connecting to a number. Some of you are dealing with uh, bitterness. <laughs> bitterness might be feeling a little bit used or not appreciated by someone who is a friend but doesn't really appreciate the benefits. Someone doesn't see what's available to them, how good things could be. Oh. So you're left wondering, concerned. You feel the changes of love. You feel the decay of a situation. For those of you going through that, waiting for someone to return, it's time to assess the situation. Have a look at the big picture. It's time to choose balance. It's time to choose clarity, comfort, move forward. Take back your energy. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. The King of Wands is here in reverse. The person on your mind or the one you wait uh, to return, they're picky. Not good for you. Full of ego. And they throw you out of balance. So that's not the goal here, right? Knight of Swords, waiting on a message, still waiting and hoping. And you're blocking yourself going forward. You're blocking yourself going forward really in thought. This is baggage. Here's an opportunity though to turn things around. See yourself differently. See your own value. See your own worth. It was always there. You might have forgot for a few minutes, right? Did you sense five or nine? Giving up too much of the self for someone who is not truly a friend. They may be acting like a friend at this time, but uh, that may change soon. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Some of you are in lesson mode right now. Very much so in lesson mode. You may be dealing with someone who uh, knows how to play games. They know what they're doing. And the King of Swords here is determined to control things. Here in the Ace of Pentacles, what are they determining to con What do they want to control? They might want to control what they can get out of you that is of value. Right? You may have a friend or a frenemy who's focused on your money, what they can gain in the association with you. Later on, what can they block? This is someone who is ready to walk away at a moment's notice, not reliable, not faithful. It's what they do, what they have done to others. Hmm. This person has harsh limits in life about themselves, about others, and they are on a bit of a self-destructive path. Hmm. For this person, they learn through going through troubles. Here in the Two of Wands is a choice. All these are choices right here. So we get... Uh, Wow, I don't like this, but it is someone who does want to control your future, future gains. Mm. There is trouble afoot. And they do intend to withdraw themselves. They're looking at it now. I also get the sense of someone faking a fight. Causing trouble on purpose for some reason, but they're really doing it because of what they know. 
Page of Pentacles in reverse. If this is someone who plans to do something with your ideas. They're not very realistic, though. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about this energy except to be careful who you are helping at this time or who's watching your games too closely. Guides and guidances. We have the chariot here and the five of wands. Somebody, it, be mindful of the combative one. Someone who kind of like always wants to nitpick ideas or has something that isn't the happiest to say about your growth and ideas. Guys, if you're doing something creative at this time, creative. If you're doing something creative and you have someone who, geez, be careful. Just be mindful of the one who isn't quite as happy for you, right? Okay? They should be excited. They should be, um, you know, grateful for your growth, right? This is someone who wastes your time. Um, if you are doing something creative, I want you to also be mindful of a new hustler coming your way. This is someone with a, an offer, right? It sounds exciting. They seem very together about what they can offer. And there are, it's some type of offer to rescue you from calamity or um, other bad people who may hurt you or your creativity. King of Cups and the Empress. Oh boy. I don't like this. Okay, this is someone who is very crafty. They got a plan. They got a plan and it's Macalicious. In the Empress, this is someone who, you know, comes in like they're going to do something that is, uh, the word I get is embrace. They're going to take you on, take you in, bring you on to the team, put you in the mix. I love it. Sounds good. But it feels a little bit fantasy island. Because of the way the cards lay out, this changes. It goes from I don't know you to I'll take care of you. I got you. We get the four of pentacles right here. That changes. We, you know, it, it gains it's success. Yes, all of these things. And you're excited to be a part of it, right? Except for the fact that, oops, there's greed. There's greed as your back is turned. Unawarely, you are feeding the group. There's a group to this. You won't see the challenges coming your Oh my goodness. Listen, to my artists, I'm going to need y'all <laughs> to read between the lines at this time. Six days. I'm just going to, let's just say a week for safety purposes. Anything else? Yeah, boy. All right. So we get flips on flips on flips on flips. This is someone who comes in and it looks good, feels good, sound good. It's a whole frenemy. Next six days, this gets revealed to you or you are just meeting this person. So be careful, be mindful of the offer coming your way, involving your creativity and how what you do will feed a group. I want you to also be careful of things that feel and sound like pyramid schemes. It's a pyramid scheme on your creativity. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of my guys out here are very gifted. You represent growth to a group. Like they gain because of you. Truly, what you don't see is... Here's one who's really getting the growth, and then they bring in others. Mm. They bring in others who aren't necessarily aware of uh, what's coming, right? They think they are a part of the design too, right? Everybody's kind of being taken for a ride, in fact, but there's two energies who are truly growing off the ignorance of the new one coming. Uh, the new one coming in. They grow off of the new start of others. 
And it's on purpose, okay? All they need is for you to be asleep, excited, uh, j so driven you don't uh, miss, you you're not paying attention to the fine print or things that are unsaid. I hope you enjoyed this quick reading. Until next time, bye.